One of the big challenges I think that we have as NATO is how do we do that and not give up our way of life, our ethics, our morals, our values uh, in, in such a way that we can use the technology to our advantage, ideally to deter conflict would be the primary goal, but then to prevail if necessary in that conflict. The UAV proliferation that we're seeing uh, is the culmination, in my opinion, of a lot of technologies that have been in development for many years and now are culminating in a, in a time and space where we can now proliferate small UAVs at a very, very low price point. And that's provided an interesting challenge to NATO and its partners on how do we defend against those. And uh, we're seeing those incursions happen uh, in Poland recently, obviously last week, and how we respond to that will matter. And going forward, we need to think about how we uh, respond in a cost-effective manner. The, the, the monetary cost of this is real. Uh, and the capabilities that we currently have, we may not be able to sustain for long-term, long-term, uh, just because of the cost in position. So I think there's some work to do in these areas for sure. And I think that there are a lot of smart people and smart organizations that are working on it. And I think that we're gonna get there. We're gonna figure it out. And ideally, uh, we're able to do it in a way that reestablishes deterrence uh, along NATO's eastern flank.